where to begin. I don't want to make this video overly long, but I want to get all of my thoughts out the best that I can, even if it's messy and doesn't make a lot of sense. I just need to do something to try and get them out because they've been stuck. I've been in sort of uh, existential point in my life for a while now, and that's not exactly a vibe. I've achieved pretty much what I set out to do when I entered the world as an adult. Uh, start a family and get a house and be able to pay for those things, and I, and I did that relatively fast, all things considered. I'm 22 now, and I've had these goals achieved for a few years now, and I wouldn't change a thing. But you never wonder what you're going to do after you achieve what you set out to do. Of course I have other aspirations, and always have had them. Some have been lifelong, and some have been more recent dreams of mine. Lately I can't get outside of my own head though, I'm always overthinking everything. I've always dreamed of starting a YouTube channel, being able to live off of that and put my heart into it every day, and I feel like here I started something that can turn into that. While I'm no PewDiePie numbers wise, I see my channel constantly still getting views, slowly increasing in people subscribing. This channel's been on life support simply because I've been doing nothing, but it's still is breathing, just barely hanging on, and I think only if I kept uploading. I'm confident I can get it even higher, and I do believe that's true, so why? Why don't I keep making videos? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I've lost that spark, but nothing's really changed. I've seen mild success, and it's like, that's good enough for me, but why? Am I scared to upload to my small audience? Scared of certain expectations that I alone have set for myself? Why can't I just have fun making videos like I used to? I feel like I'm letting myself down, which makes it even more stressful. Which is why I also stepped away and just kept making empty promises to myself that I'd upload. Surely if I make a community post around what I'll upload next, that'll force me to have to make something again. Surely. But no, nothing. I notice this pattern where once I reach a certain level of satisfaction, I'm done. I force myself to say every video needs to be better, every step I take has to be this monumental improvement, but why? Why can't it just be fun and silly? Well, because those feel like trash, compared to what I've uploaded and consider great. Half of the things I'm saying are contradictory and I can't determine how I truly feel. Is this not what I wanted? I don't know how to explain it, and I think that's where the root of the problem of my everyday life is, that being not knowing how to explain it. Lately I've been desperate to find an art medium to express my thoughts and feelings so I can get them out of my system. I've been trying to find something that can accurately explain what's kicking around in my head and it feels very helpless and suffocating. This video is an attempt just to throw it out there. I can't keep caring about numbers or be scared to throw things out there like I used to. Part of what I liked about YouTube was throwing out there the random nonsense ideas I think of because I helped them get them out of my head, but those never did as good as my more planned videos, and so it becomes a bland numbers game, lacking passion or love, and you get videos like these. A desperation to feed the hunger I think is there. And when the passion isn't there, that shows too. And I think the breaking point for me on this channel was when I made this video. This one right here. I spent hours and hours of many days sifting through footage and editing, and I showed it to my friends and family to get some feedback on, and they said, well, that's alright, but where are the jokes? It's more just a compilation. At that point, I realized I wasn't making this video the same as the idea started. It was made out of necessity to fulfill some hole I thought was there, so I felt concerned, trying to find something that required no heart or effort, I thought. Th I thought that this would fix it. Then I could make the things I want to make. If I could just get something steady that took less effort and was what people wanted. But no. Ultimately, I always make excuses rather than confront why I treat myself like this or put these expectations on myself, and that goes for the rest of life. I feel like everything I do is to try and impress others, to try and be perfect, but you can't be perfect. No one's asking for me to be like this except for me. And when your biggest critic is yourself and you have a critic that harsh, 
Why keep trying if you always find something? Why bother? Why try? Why anything? Surely just not doing anything is better, but then that voice in your head tells you how worthless you are, no matter how good you do, no matter how successful, no matter how... no matter what goals you accomplish that you set, it's never enough. Isn't it easier just to quit? To give up? Who cares if nothing matters in the end anyways? Once it's over, your time is up. Whatever impact you left, no matter how big or small, is bound to dissipate eventually. What's the point if it's all for the time being, meaning ultimately for nothing? Thing you're doing. Why nothing bother. you do? I live with no desire. Why, why when all I do is crush to myself to under the weight of the unbearable matter. expectations nothing I set on myself? Why? Matters. Nothing you do matters. And then you pause. The noises get so loud and overbearing, and eventually there's a harmony that cuts the noise altogether. It all gets so loud and so overwhelming that it turns into nothing. You're just being stupid. I'm stupid. There's no rush. Relax. You do what you can, which is start each day beginning to end until it's over. And you make the best you can out of everything. Because it's not all awful. In the midst of things that are awful, there's things like web fishing. They're simple little distractions. For me, it's something like web fishing. I don't know why I punish myself internally so harsh, but I do know I like web fishing. And while this doesn't apply to everyone, it does for me. In web fishing, nothing really matters. You can fish, treasure hunts, and who knows what else. I haven't, I haven't gotten insanely into this game, but I've played it enough to know it's what I like. It's enough for me. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it does just enough. It gives me a place to disconnect, if only for a minute. Only for a minute. In the online rooms especially, I think I liked more than the solo room. Just this little island where everyone's doing the same thing as you. Just escaping for a minute. And that's... It's nice. We all have our vices, our escapes, things we do to try and push out the reality of life. No matter how dire or consequential it is to push those things out, sometimes we just step away because we can't handle it. Whether or not we should have these vices, I'm not sure, but they help sometimes. I struggle with long days where I feel like I need to drink at the end of them, even though it just makes me feel worse and not like I'm wasting my money. Same thing with nicotine. But then why am I doing these things that are just intentional harm? Why am I being so hard on myself all the time, when I don't need to be? I get by just fine, and I don't really know. I don't know, and I think that's fine. I'm okay with not knowing for once. I used to think I know, but that's long gone. You can't save the world. You can't be perfect. And maybe right now you can't express yourself, but that doesn't mean you can't learn to express yourself, learn to love yourself, and there's no rush. You can't forget those moments in between. At some point, things weren't as bad as they are in that moment. Even though it's hard not to think about the worst at any given time, because someone's rooting for you. For me, I have my friends, my family, my wife, that for whatever reason support me in whichever path I take. I don't know why. And if you don't have those people, you have me. Because I know that overwhelming, I, I know what that overwhelming noise is like firsthand. And I can't be there directly for you. Anyone hearing this, just know I'm rooting for you. For you to find that purpose and desire to live. I, I, I think it surely must exist in all of us. Even if not clear, there's, there's something to hold on for. If nothing else, and this is likely nothing else, I'm rooting for you. Make those dreams come true. It won't be easier, maybe it won't be what you expect, but I know you can do it. And if nothing else, find that comfort spot. Step back and evaluate where you're at. Just relax, give yourself room to breathe. Every step you take is a step towards the right direction. Just keep living. And I don't know if that's helpful or not. I hope it at least helps me, as selfish as that is. I just, I hope every step is the right step to take. Thanks for watching, if you did. This video is a little all over the place, and I hope it does more good than harm. It's just really hard to explain these complex feelings and ideas, but 
I think this is a decent first step at trying. At least I, I, I hope it is. I'm trying desperately to get these things out of me, to do something with all of these wandering ideas. The room overfills capacity. I just... Thank you. And please, live on another day. <laughs>